、えー、9月の頭でございました日弁連の主催によって女性こそ主役にというこれは、えー、災害学校に向けたシンポジウムが開催をされましたその中で、えー、会津若松市これは福島原発から約100キロ離れておりますこの会津若松市在住の女性弁護士さんの発表は大変厳しいものでございました小学校3人のお子さん幼稚園1人4人のお子さんと、えー、今現在妊娠中でいらっしゃいます7ヶ月くらいだったと思いますそのお子さんがいらっしゃる弁護士さん実は子供さん4人と自分から自分の体内もセシウムが検出されたとで、えー、健康にすぐには、えー、被害はありませんと大丈夫ですと言われたんだけれど本当に心配ですそして内部被曝ということがやはり心配なので小学校の子どもたちには学校で牛乳を飲むのをやめなさいと言いましたとそしたら先生に牛乳を飲まない子どもは前出てらっしゃいバケツに一人ずつ飲まない子数人いたそうですバケツに捨てさせられてなんで飲まないのかという理由を言わされたとそしてこれを飲まない人は福島県民じゃないと住む資格はないと言われたそうですあの戦前の被告民のようなこういうことがありましたし自分もこれでいいのだろうか将来子どもたちに本当にここに住み続けるということで説明しできるんだろうかと悩んでいるというこういう話がありました笑わないで聞いてください官房長官しっかり聞いていただきたい大事な話でございますのでね大事なところではそんなね笑わないでくださいよ冗談じゃありませんよ私が申し上げたいのはね本当にそういう思いしてるんですよ福島の方は。Iranian authorities see it as an ominous pattern, and they say foreign agents are to blame. The, art, the government says a car bomb Wednesday killed another of the country's nuclear scientists. NHK World's Mataba Sanati reports from the capital, Tehran. This area in central Tehran was the site of a huge explosion today. Iranian security authorities say a moving car suddenly blew up. A 32 year old university professor and another man died. A third person was hurt. Investigators say a motorcyclist placed a bomb on the vehicle. After a huge blast, I saw black smoke coming from a car, and a man was lying on the street bleeding. The dead professor wasn't just a university lecturer, Mustafa Ahmadi Roshan was also a nuclear scientist. He'd worked at Iran's Natanz uranium enrichment facility. Investigators blame Israeli intelligence agents for the attack. This isn't the first time Iranian nuclear scientists have been targeted. A car bomb killed a university professor and nuclear expert in November 2010. At that time, the Iranian government blamed agents from countries opposed to its nuclear program. The United States and Israel denied the allegations. Mushtaba Sanati, NHK World, Tehran. A South Korean think tank says North Korea is likely to conduct a nuclear or long range missile test later this year or early next year in an attempt to solidify the rule of new leader Kim Jong un. The prediction was made in a report by the government affiliated South Korean Institute of Foreign Affairs and National Security released on Wednesday. It says that North Korea is likely to carry out another military provocation by the end of this year, similar to its artillery attack on the South Korean island of Yonpyong in 
The North is known for allowing tensions to rise with the South at times of uncertainty within North Korea. The report also says that nuclear or missile tests could be timed to coincide with presidential elections in the U.S. and South Korea later this year. To stress Kim Jong-un's leadership abilities, the North may test a new uranium-type nuclear weapon instead of plutonium-based weapons such as those used in experiments in 2006 and 2009. The report says that North will try to consolidate the new regime under Kim Jong-un by seeking dialogue with the United States in returning to the six-party talks on its nuclear development. But it predicts that the stalemate between the two Koreas will continue as the North steps up criticism of President Lee Myung-bak's government. The United States has offered to send vitamin tablets and biscuits as humanitarian aid to North Korea, but the North has instead asked for rice and corn. Some experts say North Korea's new leader Kim Jong-un doesn't want his people to know that the food shipments are foreign aid. The North Korean foreign ministry issued a statement on Wednesday saying the U.S. offered to resume food shipments last May. The shipments have been suspended for more than two years. But the statement said the U.S. has drastically changed the types of food being sent. Observers say the statement aims to underscore a promise made by the U.S. to deliver the remaining 300,000 tons of grain. Okay, we'll take one more question. Oh, evacuation, you asked me about for a second. I have no good answer how you evacuate, um, or whether you go to the fairgrounds or whatever. Um, Are you safe at the fairgrounds? No, I mean, unless the wind is blowing away from the fairgrounds, I don't know. But let me make one other quick point about evacuation. At the Diablo Canyon evacuation proceedings, which I also sat through, the uh, interveners pointed out that in an earthquake, the freeway was likely to be damaged. And the met, met pathway that you were going to use to evacuate, the overpasses would crumble. You couldn't get out anyway. And the NRC licensing board, which was required to reject the license if it wasn't a workable evacuation plan, but was basically ordered to give them the license, came up with the most extraordinary decision I've ever read in my life. And it would have, Orwell would have loved it. The NRC ruled that it was quote unquote non-credible, their famous phrase, that there would ever be an earthquake simultaneously with a reactor accident. Now, no one was ever talking about them being two separate events. The earthquake would cause the reactor accident and bring down your freeway overpass. They said you couldn't get out. So they gave them the license and that's now become a generic rule that you can't consider the effects of the earthquake on the evacuation plan. That's silly. I've got a headache this big, and it's got Excedrin written all over it. I've got a headache this big, and it's got Excedrin written all over it. Excedrin, the big headache medicine. More medicine than any regular strength pain reliever. The most medicine you can buy without a prescription. Nothing is stronger. I had a headache this big, but I took Excedrin, and it's gone. Excedrin, from Bristol-Myers. Excedrin, the headache medicine. topic can life get? Interest rates, mortgages, my husband and I both working so hard and just keeping up the pressure can give me an awful headache. Life got tougher and we got stronger. Extra strength Excedrin with the two most powerful pain relievers you can buy plus a third ingredient to give you unsurpassed headache relief. I'm glad there's Excedrin to get rid of my headache. Extra strength Excedrin. Capsules and tablets. Life got tougher and we got stronger. In a major hospital study, Excedrin was more effective than aspirin. It's been over a year since I first reported that new evidence about pain relievers. But it could still be just as important to you. Among patients with the kind of pain other than headache used to compare pain relievers, it took more than twice as many aspirin tablets to equal the pain relief of Excedrin. More than twice as many. If pain relief is important to you, 
Isn't it time you tried, etc.?